So we got a nice video for y'all today. I think 2K is trying to push us to creating smaller bills in 2K25, yo. <laughs> They're doing everything in their power to try to push us in that direction. And there's a new pay-to-win aspect of the game that nobody's talking about. But you know your boy bro watch 2K's pockets. <laughs> so y'all know what it is by now. Without further ado, I need y'all to grab yourself that brew and let's get to the info. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and, and ring the bell. bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you're done now. Yo, boy, bro, toss him on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up this video. Definitely help the channel out, because you know everybody's going to always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. You know we got to start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Brew Squad. Anyone y'all got a notification bell unlocked, come to the comment section, type first, second, third, know the gang on Brew Squad. I got to put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all much love, much respect a 2k pushing us to create smaller bills now i know spacing is important remember they actually made this post saying we adjusted the player to court ratio in nba 2k25 to give players more room to operate it improved the flow of the game and allows for certain cuts that would often get jammed up before. Now I saw Zach Timmer respond to this, which actually got my alarm bells running. A user said, so those smaller bills have gradually more attribute points. And he said, yes, I'm like, oh, hey now. Now as somebody who prefers to create taller guard bills, I'm like, okay, hmm, interesting. Then I saw Wolf, who is the next 2K dev, post this. Now, remember, they already reduced the height or max height of point guards and shooting guards most notably right i don't know about the other builds but i usually play in those positions so i would know because i created one of my favorite builds was a 6-8 penny build love that build and of course my 6-8 magic build love that build as well it allowed me so much more freedom and flexibility that they were almost demigod builds i would put it out there <laughs> okay a lot of people sleep on those taller builds this year so i saw wolf Post this to for all my guards out there. Be open to using a smaller guard in 2K25. The smaller guards will have more attribute points to work with. You will also have access to the new badge, Mini Marksman. Now, this is not the new badge in 2K. They just renamed it. Remember, in the past, we had Mismatch Expert, which did the same thing. It allows smaller point guards and give them a little added boost on shooting on taller bills. So they brought this badge back. Is that personally, I have been enjoying playing on a smaller guard. Typically, six foot to six two is the height I made my small guards. Obviously, height will always have great benefit, but don't sleep on the smaller, quicker guards in 2K25. With all that being said, I'm still gonna try to find something between the 6'6 six, six and 6'5 six, to 6'4 six, ratio. I like taller guards. It ain't gonna change no matter what 2K do. I'm gonna always try to figure out ways to create taller guards. But that does not mean your boy Brute ain't gonna just go with a smaller guard based on the success of this taller guard. All right, we gonna spend some time in the build and figure out. And now with the new tester, now you could equip whatever move you want. You could damn near go and customize jump shot to see what's available to your build at a 99. So you have way more time to lab and figure out what's the right direction. I gotta give 2K props on that. What the right direction is for you and your builds going forward. Now, there are a few people that responded. So Chuck responded said, this is how it should be. Shorter builds are significantly harder to play with than taller builds. W and U so far. Now, I saw this next user said, my 5'8 fin to be even crazier. Now, I saw my guy Blitz said, said yes, said, set them up. It's a typical 2K tactic. He loves his small guards because he's playing against Timmy two times before the game release. So, yes, make the six foot PG. And of course, he put that emotion that goes along with it. So, Coach Dog said, I would also like to say, I know this is a video game, but small guards don't dominate in the league, especially on both ends of the floor. This is the first time I've read something about 2K25 I'm not happy with, but 
I will keep it positive. Let me know if you all agree with that or not. This next user said, I like this. This giving us a reason to make smaller players again. That's exactly how it should be. Smaller guards are already at a disadvantage. Hopefully, you all execute this properly. Again, there are a bunch of people on both sides of the coin. And a Wolf actually posted this tweet saying, Mini Marksman on Legend. And it shows Steph Curry <laughs> shooting over Wemby. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on that. Again, I'm, we're going to spend some time in the building and try to figure out the best direction to take. But it clearly looks like 2K is trying to push us towards creating smaller builds. A lot of emphasis have been placed on space in NBA 2K25. It now makes sense that they're trying to push players to create or a lot of added benefits to create smaller builds. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section. So let's move on to the potential pay to win aspect of the game that nobody's talking about. Is this badge or this perk called Max Plus One? Now, 2K Delph Wolf posted this tweet saying, it is a perk called Max Plus One. When applied to badge, it will boost the badge to its max potential plus one. For example, your bill gets a max of a Hall of Fame paint patroller, which is a new badge, of course. If you apply max plus one boost to Hall of Fame paint patroller, it will boost the badge to legend level. And this is the part that really stands out right here. This is the part that will make it pay to win. I will explain, of course, later. So max plus one perk will be in the season's reward path at level 15 and 30. At the end of the season, these will reset and you will have to earn the levels via season's reward to get the perks back. They must progress the badge to its max potential first before you are able to apply the perk. And I think that's really big right there. Now, there are a few things that he says right here that stands out to me. Number one, it will be in seasons and you will lose it. Number two, you must max out that specific badge. So basically there's two available, right? Because they will be in level 15 and 30. So there will be two available and you'll be able to apply these to max badges to put them to a next level on top. And then you will lose it at the end of each season. Now, there are a few people that responded. So this is the first person here and this person actually, yeah, this made me actually look at it a different way because all the time I see it's like, okay, I right, do y'all think it doesn't matter. You're going to lose it, which is annoying. But I was a little annoyed at that itself. But of course, so grinding says, so hypothetically, if I buy the season's pass or frip, I could use a badge elevator and max plus one and start my first game with a legend badge. Now, Dog here responded and said, nothing you earn in season should ever disappear the next season. A decision to do it like this. So I prefer plus one every season at level 40 that you keep. Let me know if you all agree with that or not. I saw this next user said cash grab makes sense. So, I mean, if you're willing to spend, why 2K shouldn't take your money? <laughs> Hang on from you So this next user responded saying, so you make people pay for something in the season pass that is a gameplay reward and then the reward reset after you pay for it that season then you have to buy it again and it put up some laughing i don't think this person i doubt to keep on put that behind the paywall but the option for you to buy it through that's different that's there we know that's there you could buy all the way to level 40 which some people do either way but letting you pay for it behind the paywall I doubt they're going to do that. They know that's going to spark a bunch of controversy. So they're not going to do that. Now, this next user response said, LOL, I like it, but that's definitely a cash grab. I know none of the devs are cool with this. I know the high ups had to have said, we have a creative way to get more money. You guys are for us, but the big bosses want that money. I completely understand. Let me know if you agree with that or not. This next user said, nah, that's dumb fam. Floor sellers were permanent. This should be too. Let me know if you all agree or not. Now I see how this could be a potential pay to win. And you know pay to win is a little loose. It's gonna give somebody who's willing to buy out through, like buy throughout the season, a little advantage. I think even if you buy the season Hall of Fame pass, you get a few additional free levels, right? So it's gonna definitely give them an added advantage over their competition so it's in the game man so let me know what y'all think about this man uh, i'm not gonna buy seasons i'm not 
I'm gonna stay away from seasons again. And hopefully the rep grind is something actually pretty good this year. But seem like 2K is pushing us to smaller bills and they have this added uh, pay to win aspect to the game. Let me know your thoughts. So that's all I got for y'all today. Y'all know how it is, man. Your boy gonna always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to everything in the 2K community. If you're first time to the channel, make sure like the video, share the video, and hit your boy a subscribe. If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna be informed, y'all. Your boy's him on love, respect, bless up. Peace.